Let's pop the dogs on now. That's done. Notice the height of the charcoal. I tried different levels, and that's the perfect height right there. That original one, by the way, was a half pounder. It filled almost the whole thing. This is quarter pounder. With this size, you could do one here, one here, and even a couple of dogs if you wanted to. Great though. Beautiful. Awesome. Notice how well that fits in the groove, by the way. It literally fits in perfect all the way around. Just like it was made for it. So now that we got that done, let's form the inner part of the chamber. That's just done using this 304 stainless steel wire mesh. They sell it in 12 by 24 inch sheets, so I got two of those. And I'm just going to need probably half of one of these. But what we're going to do is form a circle out of this and drop it in. Slightly less diameter than this and drop it in. That'll hold the charcoal. It'll allow for good airflow around it without punching holes in the side. And it'll also protect the outside of the can because charcoal burns super hot. Okay, that's all the way in down to the bottom. Now I'm just going to cut it about here. Just use needle nose pliers to do that. Put the wires through, bend them over, and press them down all the way along. It goes pretty quick once you get used to it. You just push it in. Go to the next one, carefully lay it on there, push it in, and just go along like that. And push these all in, and then grab them from the other sides and clamp them down. There it is. Best proportion I found for the sand is to put the dirt gravel or sand to about here. I had started with it here. Put it here and the charcoal here. Unless you want to do more of a slow cook, then maybe here. 
This is a quarter pounder, by the way. Plenty of room for two of those on there. You could put like one here, here, and even a dog or two. Other burger I cooked was a half pound, or even bigger, it was huge. Filled almost the whole thing. No stick, as you can see. Beautiful. Check that out. Sweet. All right, wow, this is awesome. So this thing fits like perfectly in here. It's not made, of course, for a paint can at all, but it fits absolutely perfect. Again, the stainless steel wire mesh is so it keeps the heat and the charcoal away from, directly away from this. Plus it allows air to go down all the sides and in to the sides of the charcoal and up so we didn't have to cut any holes, you know, on the side of the can anywhere. Kind of nice to get the built-in handle too. Notice the clearance, by the way doesn't hit the top at all. By the way, this thing is sitting like perfectly around right in the groove. So even if you're working at it with a spatula and stuff, that's not going to slip off. That's really in there. So it works out great. It's like it was made for it. Really couldn't be better.